What is up guys, my name is Theo, and today I got a quick video for you guys, a little tip for you guys if you are just getting into vlogging and the camera you're currently using doesn't have that flip screen, um, just a little tip for you guys to keep yourself in frame when you are out vlogging. But first real quick, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Theo, I do a lot of videos uh, on photo and video stuff uh, just like this, so if you guys are interested in stuff like this, then definitely subscribe and hit that like button. Uh, it is much appreciated. So now for the quick tip for you guys, if you guys are out there vlogging, or if you guys are getting into video in general, um, generally uh, some of the gear you will need is a variable ND filter. So 90% of the time when I'm out vlogging, I generally have my vari variable ND filter on my camera. And that's kind of what I use to keep myself in frame. So generally they're pretty dark and it's usually a lot brighter outside. So you can kind of see your reflection uh, in the variable indie filter and I kind of use that to kind of either look right at myself or I like really stare at my nose and mouth uh, through the reflection of the variable indie filter. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up my phone kind of to my forehead so you see if we can kind of pick up uh, the reflection through the variable indie filter. So yeah, you can kind of see the outline of my face. Again, I'm just kind of using the outline just to kind of get my face in frame. Um, I like to kind of keep my head upper thirds of the frame just to kind of eliminate a lot of the headroom uh, when I am vlogging. So I point it and kind of stare at like my mouth in the in the reflection and then just kind of messing with uh, the angle on the ball head that you're using. Um, it does make it a little bit, if you kind of, I angle mine down a little bit, uh, which makes it a little more comfortable for my for my wrist. Um, in the beginning I was kind of had a weird little angle with my wrist and uh, you, you'll kind of just do trial and error, you'll kind of figure it out and Pick the right angle for you, what's most, what's most comfortable for you. So that about does it for this one, guys. I will see you guys later.